Hi guys, so in last class we created our test data in the form of JSON on inside a JSON file. Okay, this is what the JSON file we created. This is what the test data we added. Now in this this video we are going to read these these data. Okay, so after reading we can use it in multiple places wherever we need. Okay, so let me go here and create one main class. Okay inside this main class we format this inside this main class first we need to provide the path path where exactly this file is there okay so to do that what we can do is string file path okay is equal to to there is one system class okay system class and inside that system class we have one get property okay get property so here so to get the location of this project okay first we can go to location of this project then location of this one and then inside that we have one user management folder then we can go inside this right to read it so so in in like the system one class is there okay inside that when you'll do get property and user dot directory okay user dot dir so what it will do it will give you the path of this one okay so if you want let me print it and show you okay so i show okay this video will be a bit lengthy so i have patience guys i'll be giving many information inside this okay so let me run this okay yeah perfect see see what is the path it created okay and see this is what i told now it will be pointing here so let me go here and paste the path okay this is what the path i copied and pasting over here and enter so this is what our project location is there right so see this so what it does so it took the uh, path user directory like this is what the our uh, means uh, this is what the uh, location it is pointing okay after that we need to go to resources okay so to go to resources we should have file path separator why file path separator what is file path separator okay i will tell you and uh, let me paste this go here see so file path is like when one folder is there like inside some folder is there no so there will be like slash sign okay see this is what the slash sign this is what the the uh, file path separator okay this is what the file path separator okay so this one we can get it through one more uh, way is there to get this so what we can do let me keep plus just append that file path okay so we can write file dot dot path separator or separator okay so file separator so no you know what it will do it will get it will append like this see this one it will get, uh, get appended at the end so that it is ready to go to the next folder let me show you run it and show you see here currently currently this kr is there right scare is our project location and here we at the end we don't have anything now let me run this after adding that uh, file dot separator see it added here right right it means now it is ready to go to next folder so what is our next folder inside this we have resources folder right so let me add that also plus resources okay okay we added it now plus inside resources we have one more folder right user management so so before going to that folder what we have to do again we have to give file path separated because it is inside this one right so again we can write file dot separator right file dot separator perfect now again plus and we can give this this user management inside this so this is what the folder is right so inside the uh, resources we have uh, file separator then we have one uh, user management then inside that this file is there okay so let me copy the name okay let me go here and press plus user management then file separator right again file dot separator okay plus control v this is the user management and the user management user management test dot json this 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 extension is also required here to read that file okay json 
so now so now this is what the the file path and it is pointing to this one okay got it guys now now so now to read this okay to read this in the form of json what we have to do to java rest assured provides one uh, json parser okay so that json parser is having one one class is their json parser inside that class there is a method called parse and that method accepts this file path okay in the form of like file reader object okay so let me show you that uh, if you are not understanding no let me complete it so uh, you will get to know what exactly i am doing okay so now let me write new json parser right new json parser okay let me make it inside bracket so that it will be one element okay just a second new json parser right okay it is asking for assignment mm, json element okay one json element is there json equal to new parser let me import the necessary things okay i'll explain you what is this json element analysis okay dot parse okay one method is that parse and it reads the file also okay file reader we can use okay so just we are reading it parse and here we can write right new file reader new file reader okay let me import the jar file jar data here and here we can give this file path okay perfectly fine now now just we read it right now now it is asking to throw the declaration with thrown direction okay they have deprecated this might be they would have given some other method also for this one in uh, future release it may not be available but see what so this is the json element so now what exactly this line is doing you know this line we are making a one new file reader uh, object and we are passing this one okay now now this this object is pointing to this one okay now there is a json parser okay in json parser dot parse they used to parse this object and they will convert it into json element okay and what is that json element this is what the json element so see here curly braces starting and ending right that is the json element okay so in so now we to read this okay first we need to convert it into the json element meant using this line okay this line what we did we converted that to json element okay let me change the name so that it will be more readable okay now now the json element we have created right now we need to convert that as a json object okay so so let me create one json object json json object object is equal to so this element we have created right ever so this one dot dot uh, get as get as json object okay get as json object see if we are reading multiple we can put json array if we are uh, reading single object then we can make it as a json object okay so let me tell this as json object sorry uh json object where is that get as a json object okay perfectly fine now let me import the necessary jars. Yeah, now that error is gone. Now, perfectly fine. Now, now we read that, right? Now, what we are going to do, 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 we will read this one, okay? So there is one uh, one key is there JSON uh, means add user okay inside that again we have one JSON element so we need to convert it into JSON object okay so so through JSON object what we can do do we can go do like get one uh, method is there like get okay in that what it will do let me show you object dot get get okay 
whatever value you will provide no that will result you in the response this this value will come over there okay so let me give this because that was in the form of key value right so add user so now this add user details will be available here okay and let me store it in one another json element because here also it is starting with this one and ending with this one right so this is also in the form of json element only okay so json json element okay json element element okay now now we got is in the form of uh, json element again we can convert similarly how we converted that in the json object right similarly we can convert it in here also okay so json object j object okay equal to to ele dot get as json object right here this method is there now now till here fine we converted that in the form of json object okay now what we'll do to to read read those key value pairs okay it is better to have one map object okay so that whatever key will pass we will get the value whatever key will pass we'll get the value so let me convert this into map object okay now so whatever uh, response is there inside, inside this what is the response this is what the response is in the form of json object okay so i am creating one one uh, map object okay map object and that value will be in the form of a string comma a string okay string string then m object equal to to new hash map okay as map okay let me do the necessary imports so dot util okay let me convert to this generic hash map okay as map let me import this okay now 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 what we will do we will read read those entries so what key value entries are uh, we have given over here right so inside this we have given id so this is what it is called entry okay this is one entry this is second entry this is third entry okay so we will read one by one and we will be adding inside this this map object okay let me write it bigger camel case okay now now we created one map object now uh, right okay now uh we created one map object and what is the next step is okay so now to read values from this json object okay okay what we have to do we'll create one iterator okay iterator 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 is equal to to what is this name we have set it over here element dot dot uh entry set okay entry set dot iterator okay so now we got the iterator here okay now after that what we have to do do we have to check check while while iterator okay while iterator dot dot has next okay so what it will do it will read line by line okay and when it will reach at the end so it will read line by line okay first it will read this one this one this one when it will reach at the end that while loop will get stopped okay so that's what we are checking it here iterator dot has next okay okay iterator dot has next then what we can get we can get entry set right right entry set we can get and that entry set will be in form of uh, okay uh, let me entry set in tier okay tier one entry equal to equal to iterator i t e r it iterator dot next right this is what we used to read it okay so now what is the error it is telling 
telling add cash to entry okay now now we got that entry object okay now what we have to do we have to put this entry to our map object okay so map object dot put okay so it will ask for the key key from where we can get from this entry we can get entry dot get key e dot to string okay dot to string perfectly fine because this map accepts object in the form of string string okay now for value also entry entry dot get value dot to string perfectly fine right now it got added in the map object right so until everything will get added to this map object it will not stop that's what we have given this while object okay now so now what we can do do uh, let's run this and uh, let's print some values okay so is my is so okay let me print this m object dot get what is the name we can give we can give name from here okay so okay let's print this we'll see and b dash double zero two should be the output okay yeah let's see whether it is working or not just right click run as just an element see it it uh, printed right so if you want to fetch the next value suppose house number will fetch okay let's see since t dot building number get the house number okay let me save it run it see it is fetching right now whatever value we want it is fetching so this is what in this way we will be reading those this uh, our uh, resource file test data resource file okay see we gave this one so it, it it was it is reading all the details from this okay now let me show you let me read data from this one okay so just we need to provide here instead of that when we'll provide their update user and then what is the value we want to read it read it date of birth okay we'll read the date of birth go here just print it okay now right click and run it okay see 23rd march 2001 23rd march 2001 yeah see one generic method we created right whatever name we are passing it is pointing to that and it, it is reading all the data right so this we will be using using when we will be writing our uh when we will be automating our test cases okay so this is what we did we wrote we created this file also now we read it also now in next class we will be creating helper helper class okay inside helper class we will create uh two separate class we will be creating one class will be will be like there we can put all our generic methods for example this is reading test data okay reading test data from uh, these json files then reading how to read properties file so all those things we will be putting inside that file and one we will create for particular module like for user management so in that we'll write method add user create user and we will be handling exceptions also okay so we'll see those things in next videos guys so that's it for now thank you bye bye